Hey everyone, that's TJ with Avidine. In the following brief video, we're going to be discussing the password protection pin page in configuration mode on the IFD. <clears throat> so, with software version 10.2.4.1, we've added the option to make your configuration settings uh, password or pin protected. It's not required by any means, um, and if you don't wish to set a pin on this, uh, you can just ignore this page. Basically, if you just scroll right past it, it will let you go ahead and configure your RS-232s and 429s, etc., etc. Um, no harm, no foul. So if you don't want a pin on there and you don't want to have this pin protected, just ignore this page entirely. That being said, if you do want to set a pin or if you want to know what it looks like once a pin has been set, I'm going to go ahead and set one right now and show you guys. So. going to go in here and I'm going to set this for A, 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 A. Right. Yep. So now it's showing that we have a, a current pin set. So A, 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 A. So what this ends up looking like if I cycle power on the IFD itself. The next time I boot this up, it's going to be asking me for a pin here. So let's do that real quick. Give it just a second. I've got my USB drive in, so it's going to boot into maintenance mode for me. I want to toggle over to my config page. Now you can see right up here it says it's password protected. So if it says it's password protected, that means someone has already set a pin on this thing. And if you notice in the current pin section right here, there's now four asterisks in there. Before that, it wasn't like that. <clears throat> um, so now that now I know there's a, a password protection or a, a pin set on this thing. Also, if I go into my other config pages, you notice I've got this yellow verbiage up here that says password protected. So that tells me that I'm not in. If I want to go ahead and set my pin so that it lets me go in and configure some things, I can now go in here and enter my pin, which I had set to AAAA. Enter, and you notice that password protection warning goes away, and it does on all of these pages. Now, the big question that comes up a lot is, what do I do if I don't know the pin? What if? What do I do if I accidentally set a pin because I guessed at it, and I don't even remember what my guess was? Well, you can contact us at techsupport at avidine.com, and we can send you a file to basically wipe out the existing pin. Um, if one has been set on purpose, you might want to contact whomever set this unit up and find out what the pin is and, and maybe what the reason was that they set it. Um, there may be a very good reason that it's there um, it may, and it may not matter at all. So either way, um, you know, contact tech support. We can send you a file to wipe that pin out and, and redo it. If you want to redo it, if you want to set it to something else, um, we can also tell you what the pin is if you go back over here. To your logs and go download configuration info. Put a check mark next to that and hit proceed. And what that'll do is download your configuration logs to the thumb drive. You can email those over to us at tech support, and we can actually tell you what that pin is currently set to if you want to go that route. Um, usually what we find is when someone doesn't know what the pin is to get in there, it's because it was accidentally set and no one knows what it is, um, but they don't necessarily even want it set. So just wiping it out makes more sense. Either way, that's how to handle that. Um, 
that's it for the the pin anyway so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video